Hey music community, Jeff here again to tell you about a new release that just came out that I think everybody should check out. <laughs> um, if you're into rock and roll, any kind of rock, hard rock, anyway, yeah, there's a new band that dropped. But we've been waiting for it. Pre-ordered this a while back, saw some teaser videos, saw some teaser interviews, been looking forward to this. Kind of a super group of sorts uh, for some of us at least, but anyway, and the... You, I'm wearing the shirt here if you could see this maybe anyway band called human code just dropped came out this week and you know everybody in my circles is buzzing about it and talking about it so I have a uh, they released a digital EP probably a year or two ago had four four songs, which most of them on here, but they also did a cover of um uh what's that pop song? Don't you forget it. No, what's it? Don't you forget about me? The, anyway, it was a, a release of some material and then here's the full album. And so real briefly, let me tell you the background. You you, you probably some of you may not be familiar with the with the uh, the members of the band, but the band Worldview. This release came out in like 2015. Sort of again, sort of a super group. You had on this particular re release, you had the guitar player and drummer from Recon, which was the band that put on an album back in like 1990. Amazing, uh, Halloween sounding, Queen Drake relations uh, metal band Recon. And then you had uh, the singer from Sacred Warrior, again, uh, compared a lot vocally to, you know, Jeff Tate, Queensryche. They put out quite a few albums back in the late 80s and early 90s. Uh, and so those guys got together and put out this Worldview album. Now, time goes by, they play some shows and stuff, and member changes, they end up swapping out the drummers. They get the drummer from Holy Soldier who had a couple albums out back in the 90s also, and great stuff, so it's still maintaining a super group status. But then uh, Ray Para, the singer, singer from Sacred Warrior, ends up stepping aside. He's in another project, Deny the Fallen, and they you know, were doing more and more, and so he stepped aside, and they brought in Michael Drive from... Well, he was in, he was in Baron Cross back in the day. He's done a lot of other projects, and uh, in recent years... He's put out a lot of solo stuff, but they brought him in to Worldview, and they did some shows with him. The thing is, he, then they started to write new material, and they started kind of going, the Worldview sound was more of a traditional, melodic, almost 80s type metal type feel, uh, traditional metal of that sound. The stuff they were writing, or the stuff that Michael Drive wanted to push to pursue writing, um, was not of that era, not of that sound. And so what the band decided to do was rather than reinvent the sound of Worldview, they left that alone. Basically, the bands, if they continue both side by side, would be different styles. So they left that style alone, left Worldview alone, and created this a little more of a modern sound, a little less of a traditional metal sound, more of a modern hard rock. Um, it attracted the attention of, you know, almost kind of out of out of retirement, but um, John, John and Dino Elefante. You probably know John Elefante. He did some work with Kansas back in the uh, back in the day. Um, you know, Vinyl Confessions and some other albums. And he's done a lot of stuff, very melodic voice. But him and his brother Dino did Pachyderm Records. They did production. They used to produce a lot of bands, including Kansas and stuff, and have done a lot of studio work. They make bands sound excellent. Anyway, Dino got a hold of some of the tracks and said, I want to be involved. And so he kind of came out of retirement and, and worked with the band um, and just was blown away. And so he worked with them closely to put this out. So it's got like top-notch engineering and studio people behind them i was just a slipcase anyway so they put this out so it's basically the worldview van, band 
under a different name with a different title. It's even funny because if you look, if you can see this, the logo for the label on here is M24. You may not be able to see that, but there's this little circle looking icon behind it, which is that circle behind human code. So it's just red on this. So this is a deluxe CD where it's got a slip case, which makes the alternate cover and it has an extra track. Uh, this one comes with one of the little cards that they've been doing in their stuff uh, recently. Human code. So they have a couple videos out there. Um, this on Girder Music, you can pick it up. Now, I picked it up with the t-shirt. I pre-ordered the t-shirt and CD pack. And my wife's like, why didn't you order the vinyl? I'm like, there is no vinyl. And she's like, why didn't you wait for the vinyl? I'm like, I don't know. I want to make sure that there's going to be a vinyl. And besides, I wanted to go ahead and take advantage of the pre-order. And so <laughs> I jumped on the pre-order. Literally, the day this mailed out, the, the label put up pre-orders for the vinyl. So I was like, sorry, honey. <laughs> so I ended up buying the vinyl too. And... A vinyl finally reissue of worldview so both of these uh, vinyl pre-orders are up on the website if you want to take advantage of that so I did I jumped on top of that yeah! so anyway yeah going back so um anyway I remember so Michael Drive and I, I used to do this website for him back 10 15 years ago up until about five years five or six years ago um, so I, you know, I know him, um, he's in California, never met him, but, uh, you know, have worked aside along with him, talked to him, he's called, things like that. Um, so not too long ago, a couple years ago when he first started working with Worldview, I remember he sent me some rough tracks that they were doing of songs for Worldview and the songs for some new project, which I assume was this. I'd have to try to go back and see if I could find them. They were just things he sent me on my phone. But that was interesting. I'm like, this sounds cool. And uh, anyway, so this is finally, after all those years of waiting, this is what we get from it. So check it out. Another related note, real briefly, Michael Drive put this album on 2021, Gale Force. I know I mentioned it back then. This has Terry, uh, I'm, 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 I'm Tracy G on guitars. He was with uh, Dio for a couple albums or an album or two or so. Um, and this is Michael Drive too. There's a little of that. There are pieces of this, and I think it makes sense because he probably wrote a lot of this. But there are pieces of this every once in a while that gives me a flashback to this. So, not saying they're the same, not saying they're the same, but if you like one, you probably would like the other. Th this has some videos too. These are two great new albums. I love the vocal styling of Michael Drive, of course, you know, been a fan since the 80s. So, check out that if you didn't. That's a couple years old. And then this one is the brand new release by them. So, check them out. Even if, I, I know, I've mentioned a lot of names you may not know, and some of you who do know may say, oh, wait a minute, he's talking Christian bands. Yeah. Recon, Baron Cross, Sacred Warrior, everything that I've been mentioning in this series, uh, not in this, this is not in that category, but these are Christian musicians. But seriously, check this out. There's no preachy lyrics. There's no Jesus loves you type stuff. It's straightforward, you know, interesting lyrics. Um, that's that, that that have hints of ethics in it maybe but not preachy don't get turned away by the fact that these guys uh, have a faith behind them check it out with an open mind it's great stuff modern great stuff and that's it for this one and i will see you later rock on and rock hard